Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I want to welcome you to this question. That is question 14 for 2024 GCE Mathematics Paper 1, Examinations Council of Zambia. Ladies and gentlemen, some of you wrote this question. I mean, some of you took part in this exam. What were your answers? What did you find? Let us compare. Those of you that are, are, look, are seeing the question for the first time, can you attempt it so that at the end of the day we compare our answers? That is the most effective way of revising and also checking and verifying what we are doing. Okay? As human beings, you know, we are prone to making mistakes. Okay. So what am I saying? Look, those of you that could be writing your exam next year, which is 2025 and beyond, you are free. And I encourage you to join our online lessons. As an individual, we do one-on-one -on -one. online. That means the distance is not an issue here. All right? If you want to join a group, if that is what could be slightly better and cheaper for you, you are welcome to do that. These are the numbers that you can call us on. I do the lessons with a colleague of mine, Mr. Piri. Okay? I mean, Rusnaka, Mr. Piri is in dollar. But we do these lessons online so it doesn't matter all right so you could contact us on these numbers and then we we get to agree back to the question this is second theorem grade 11 topic ladies and gentlemen let's read the question together in the diagram which is here p q r and s are points on the circle with the center o so this is the center the angle Okay, this is, once you are given this and then you are being told that this is what? Very important, very, very important to get to know these things. So now, what I would want to do, because here we are kind of revising. I don't want to confine myself to these questions here. Even before I come to these questions, let me try to solve one or two things. Okay? Based on those theorems, there are about seven or eight, eight so you need to be familiar with those theorems. You know that this one here, we need to multiply this one by two. By two. So it will be 68 by two, the angle at the center, twice the angle of the circumference. So you multiply 68 by two, what do you get? All right, 68 by two, what are we going to be getting? Let's do that. We're going to get 136, all right? 136 now remember that if this is the center it means this and this they are equal they are equal all right they are equal all right so i was just trying to say if you say p o r p o r we have just gotten it here that it is 136 degrees all right then p s r p s r you know there is a theorem that says opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral add up to 180 so meaning this angle here and the one that is here they should give us what 180 so for this one it will be 180 minus 68 those are the rules ladies and gentlemen so we need now to do that. Let's try and subtract this together. What are we going to get? This is going to give us 1, 1, 2. All right. That is what must be our answer. Then we have another question here that says P. Where is P? P is here. P, R, O, which is this angle here. What is this angle? Now, this is what I was trying to tell you that if you get you, you extract that angle there, you have something like this. I said this is 136 here. Then I just told you this is radius and this is radius. So meaning they are equal. Therefore, these angles here, they will also be equal. This gives us an isosceles triangle. So what do we do here? You just need to subtract... 136 from 180 
when you subtract this from 180 you are going to get to get 44 now this 44 will have to be shared equally by these two angles here so this is going to be divided by 2 you have 22 so this angle here it is 22 degrees this angle here is 22 degrees i hope you've picked it ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching just like i already told you don't forget to call us for those of you that will be writing 